Welcome to the AUT University Library of 2038, designed by the Future Finders. Meet Stephanie, she is a mature student who has kids and studying her masters in psych, part time at AUT. Stephanie has assignment due, so needs a quiet place to study away from her kids. She loves the entrance space of the library because it is open, bright, and appreciates the indoor outdoor flow. Stephanie makes her way to the first floor via the stairs because she needs to get a book out for her research from the condensed automated book machine, also known as CAB. She approaches the voice automated CAB touchscreen and explains to the machine that she wants to get Psych 101. She remembers her lecturer recommended a book but couldn't quite remember the title. Request the help of a librarian specific to Psych who appears via video messaging on the screen who helps her find out what she is looking for. She finds the book which happens to be an ebook. She docks her tablet into the machine and the book downloads. She makes her way to the silent study area via the soundproof staircase. She arrives at her silent study pod that she booked earlier. She places her tablet on the smart glass table which projects her ebook onto the wall of the pod. She decides she wants a more comfortable environment. She changes the pod settings to a nature theme. She gets hungry and orders some food from the rooftop cafe via the online service and requests it for 10 minutes time. Stephanie managed to finish her assignment and could go home refreshed and relaxed. Meet Joe, he is a design student of Asian and Kiwi descent. He is an extrovert, young and is socially responsible. He is having a group meeting for one of his design classes and needs to bring one of his prototypes to show them. He makes his way to the first floor to use the creative space. This area includes smart glass desks, 3D printers and laser cutters. He places his laptop onto the smart glass which projects his screen onto the table. This allows him to bring up his files and print his 3D model. He takes his model up to level 3 via the teleportation machine. He arrives at the group study area which consists of interchangeable smart glass rooms. He uses the inbuilt screens on the floor to book and configure the room he wants for his group. He chooses the amount of people using the room, the time, the configuration of furniture, the theme and if they want the glass to be tinted. His group uses the smart glass wall to brainstorm their project. He grabs the images off the wall and transfers them onto his laptop. After their hard work, they decide they want to break and make their way to the rooftop area. They take a seat under one of the solar power trees which powers the whole campus. Joe notices his phone is running low so he places it on the table in front of him which automatically charges it. The robotic waiter from the rooftop cafe comes over to take their order. They relax in the sun while the dissolving roof is open. Joe and his group need to leave for class so they take the slide back down to the first level. They get to their workshop in plenty of time feeling refreshed and relaxed. <laughs> 